Hello, hello everyone. You are warmly welcome back to another edition of A Positive Word. Thank you for joining me. Do you want to get well? Do you want to be made whole? This is the question that I'm posing to the world today. A, a broken world, a world that is lost, that is racing gazillion miles per hour into all things evil. Do you want to be made whole? In my line of work, I have seen people who we have directly asked this question. People who are engaged in harmful lifestyles, the consumption of all things, substances, drugs, alcohol, lifestyles that they're so used to and they blatantly respond to say no. I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop taking these drugs. I don't want to stop drinking. Because that's the only thing they know. With all the help available, they opt to remain on that trajectory of harmful choices that will never give them any positive results. So today, do you want to be made whole? When we read the account of the man by the pool of Bethesda, in John chapter 5, from verses 2 to 9, that was the question Jesus asked the man. A man who had been infirmed, bound by diseases, that he wasn't able to crawl into the pool. Jesus asked him, do you want to be well? Do you want to get well? Do you want to be made whole? This seemed like a strange question from Jesus to a man who clearly needed to get well. Though strange, it was insightful and necessary to ensure that the man was not offered something which he did not wish to have. Because like the proverbial word saying, you can lead a horse to the stream, but you can't force it to drink. Jesus had to, the man had been forced to build his identity, his entire life around his predicament for 38 years, almost four decades. It did not feel like there was hope for him ever again to be restored, to live life in much better and deserving ways. I am so glad that his response to Jesus was a yes when he encountered the great physician who spoke the words that gave him the healing he wanted. There are a great multitude of people lying down by the pools of healing, but they never get into those pools due to all sorts of excuses. People have various excuses nowadays. Blame their parents, carers, guardians, teachers, the police, family, husbands, wives, children, siblings, friends, neighbors, colleagues, the government, the society, of the authority, they blame everybody for the poor choices which they had made and are still making. They never sit up to, to take responsibility. Some other things they do, they blame themselves sometimes. I was in conversation with someone yesterday who blamed themselves for every negative thing. This, is, this had been drummed into that person's ear that they were the fault, the cause of everything. Many people are bound by addiction to pornography, to sex, to drugs, to alcohol, to food, crimes, wickedness, lying, double lives. Lives of deception. People are bound. They, 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 they have no way out. But today I come with this question, do you want to be healed? Do you want to get well? If you want to get well, Jesus Christ is here. Jesus Christ is right beside you. He's with you. Just open your mouth and speak to him. The book of Mark chapter 2 verse 17 says to us, He said to them, They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. When we read this from the easy to read translation, <coughs> excuse me, Jesus heard what the people were saying. 
He said to them, People who are well do not need a doctor. It is people who are ill that need a doctor. Some people think that they always obey God. I did not come to help people like that. Some people know that they have done wrong things. I am asking those people to come to me for help. You know deep down inside where you are ailing, the things that have, that have you captive. Jesus came for you. The great physician is passing by today. Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The punishment of our peace was placed upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. We are healed. Do you want to be healed? You do not have to hurt yourself to get your healing. You do not have to atone to anything. That is what Jesus did on your behalf. He suffered and took everything to set us free from sicknesses, diseases, sorrow, guilt, shame. He took all of them. My friend, choosing to remain bound will not set you free. I've seen countless lives lost, damaged, families destroyed because people refused to accept the healing, the support that is available to them. Do not be one of those. Do you want to get well? Jesus is here. Jesus Christ wants to set you free. You do not need to remain bound. I hope and pray that you would heed the call and turn to God. Speak to Jesus. Call on him. Call his name. He is right there with you. You do not need an audience. You do not need anybody. Just speak honestly from your heart. Ask him and invite him into your situation and receive your healing. Thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now. As you ponder over that question, do you want to get well? God bless you.